Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a spelling test in your OneNote class notebook. So what I've done is I've gone to my teacher section and I'm just creating the page in there. So I've called it spelling test and what I'll need to start with is by inserting an audio file. On that audio file I'm going to record the spellings that I want the learners to write and then I'm also going to insert a form. So let's start with the form. So I click on insert, I go to forms and up pops the forms for none, OneNote here. I'm going to do a new quiz and I've chosen quiz because it marks it itself and it can even provide feedback for my learners if I want it. So if I click on new quiz this is going to open up my forms and as you can see I've been practicing. <laughs> um, this one we're going to call here spelling test, very original, test three. Okay. So then we're going to add questions and then I'm just going to do one for you today so that you can see what it's like. So what I want to do is add a te text question. So I click on the text button. I don't want a question in there because I'm going to number my spellings when I record them. And then all I need to do is type in my answer. So I click on add answers and let's start with a tricky one that my learners always get wrong because... Okay, I'm going to give it some points, so I'm going to give it one, and I'm going to make sure it's required. Okay, um, I don't want anything else here. And then if I was to add another one, number two, let's do another one, table. Oops, no, I don't want to write in the name of the table. I want to write that in the answer box, table, make sure it's required, give it a point, and then I could go on with more spellings as and when I needed them. So once that's created, that's great, it saves it automatically. So I'll go back to my page in my notebook and I can see that spelling test three has been created. So all I'm gonna do is insert that there. Now I need to record my spellings. So this time I go to insert again and I go to record audio. And this is where I'm just gonna read the two spellings um, aloud, maybe with a sentence in between. Okay, so just watch me as I do this. Okay, this is your spelling test for this week. Number one, because. I went to the shops because I needed some milk. Because. Number two, table. I put my bag on the table. Table. I stopped the recording when I'm finished. And that's ready. So the learners don't need to see the words. All they do is they click on the recording when it finally saves. Okay, so I'll click on the little play button. Okay, this is your spelling test for this week. Number one, because. I went to the shops because I needed some milk. Okay, so I can pause it when I've heard number one. And then I can put in my spelling, okay? Then I can play it again, listen to the next one, and then type it in again. I'm just going to show you what happens. Because I've put in the answers, it marks it for me. So when I submit, I've got two answers there. And then I click on view results, which the students will be doing. You can see I got one wrong because I spelt hello wrong. Silly me. Call myself an English teacher. Anyway, I think this is going to be really valuable, um, really useful, because next year I'm teaching functional skills again but the exams are changing and at entry level there is phonics and spelling tests so I want my learners to practice spellings regularly and I think this is a really nice way of doing it instead of doing it without the whole class and shouting out results and by doing it in forms it records the results for me and I'll have a record on the back end so if we just just to note, you can see they here now responses one and I'd be able to track that per student if many had done it and I can see how many they've got right in general and then if there are any common errors we can do another test or some further work on those later. So that's how you create the test. Once that's done, remember I've done this in my teacher's booklet, all I'm going to do then is distribute it. So I click onto class notebook, I go to distribute page click on distribute page and a window pops up here I'm just going to stop it there with my actually let me just show you so the different sections I click on the sections there that I want it to go into click on distribute and then that 
distributes it to all of the notebooks. I'm just going to stop it there so it doesn't actually do it to my students. Anyway, I thought that was really useful and I wanted to share. So um, I hope you find it useful too. Okay, bye.